In this video, we'll be testing this core 9-person instant cabin tent for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this core 9-person instant tent from Amazon. Here's what the outer packaging looked like, and here's what it looks like out of the box. Inside this carry bag, I got the white rainfly, this room divider, some repair patches, the main tent body with these pre-attached poles, and also 18 stakes in a separate carry case. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this core 9 person instant cabin tent, first unfold the tent until it lays flat on the ground like this and the only thing that isn't flat is this center hub here that's sticking out. After that, pull the tent upward using the two other hubs to the left and right of the center hub as well as by pulling on the elbow joints if you need to. When you're done, your tent should be set up about halfway and should be able to stand on its own. Then extend all the telescoping wall poles by pulling them apart. All these wall poles have green buttons that should pop out and click into place when fully extended. Next, drape the rain flag over the tent and secure the extended portions of the rain flag to the tent. To do so, there are six of these hooks on the rain flag that you can attach to these notches in the middle of each steel pole of the tent. After that, pull the entire core tent out tight and use 10 stakes to stake down the tent base. Then use six more stakes for the six pre-attached guy lines around the tent. Finally, use the last two stakes to stake down the two vents, one at each length of this core tent. Altogether, it took my bro and I about six minutes to set up the entire core nine-person instant cabin tent. When I set up the entire tent on my own, it took me about 12 minutes, so about double the time. To take down this core nine-person instant cabin tent, first remove all the guy line stakes as well as the rain fly by undoing these clips. To take down the tent body, just press on this green button on each of the six telescoping wall poles and push down on all the poles to retract them. After that, push all the elbow joints inwards and then push in the two right and left hubs until only the center hub is left standing. Next, fold the tent body up and then fold the rest of the poles towards the center hub. Place the tent on the ground horizontally and pack the tent fabric together as tightly as possible. I found that the carry bag is pretty big and everything goes back in no problem at all. When my bro and I packed up this core 9 person instant cabin tent, it took us just 4.5 minutes to do so. On my own it took me about 9 minutes, so about double the time. For more details on the setup, takedown and pack up, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height in this core 9 person instant cabin tent is about 75 and a half inches and I can stand upright here no problem at all. I can also reach the top of the tent very easily by just stretching my arm out. The lowest height in the tent which is at the four corners is about 64 inches which is still taller than my height so I could stand up there too. The side walls of this core 9 person tent are pretty much vertical so there's a lot of livable space inside the tent and I can walk around the tent easily. Overall, I feel that it's really spacious for someone with my height. The length of this core 9 person instant cabin tent is about 13 feet and 6 inches while the width is about 8 feet and 9 inches so quite a few inches smaller than the marketed dimensions of 14 by 9 feet. But I could still fit 9 regular sleeping pads inside the tent and here's what having 9 pads looks like. You do have to sleep shoulder to shoulder though and there'll be practically no space left over for any camping gear. Instead of 9 pads, I found that I could fit just 2 queen sized camping mattresses and here's what these 2 queen beds look like inside the tent. There's plenty of room for 2 queen beds or 4 people to sleep inside this tent plus lots of leftover space for camping gear as well. Surprisingly, there was not enough space to fit a third queen bed even when I pushed both queen beds closely together. I also tried fitting them in different positions and I found that the width of the tent is too short for two queen beds side by side. The length fits two queen beds perfectly though. When you buy this core 9 person instant cabin tent, you get this removable room divider so you can split the tent into two rooms. The divider comes with one loop to be hooked at the top of the tent and four more latches to be attached to the sides of the tent, so two at each side. When using the divider, each room can fit either four sleeping pads or sleeping bags with not much leftover space for gear or just one queen bed with plenty of leftover space for gear. The divider has a zip in the middle so that you can access either room and you can also pull back the sides of the divider for easier access using these two extra latches. There are two things that I didn't quite like about this divider. First, one room on the left side of the tent will have only three windows and no door while the other room has one window and two doors. And second, it's so see-through, you can almost see the entire room through the divider. 
This Core 9 person instant cabin tent comes with a whopping 7 windows if you include the mesh panels of these two doors here. Each of these smaller windows measures about 43 inches in length by 21 inches in width and there are 3 of these windows on the left side of the tent. On the right side of the tent, there are 4 windows with a lot more ventilation. The largest window here measures a whopping 68 inches in length and 36 inches in width. The mesh panels of the doors are smaller, this one measures 38 by 36 inches and this last one measures 33 by 36 inches. Each window comes with two green zippers and a bug net to stop larger bugs like mosquitoes from getting in. Some also have a window latch to hold the fabric when the window is open. For those that do not have this latch, you can just tuck the window fabric here like this so there's less fumbling when opening and shutting the windows. This core 9 person instant cabin tent comes with two doors both at the right side of the tent. One is this humongous T door which measures about 96 inches in length by about 51 inches in width. It also measures about 55 inches from the ground to the top of the door, but it's still shorter than my height so I do need to duck a little when entering. The other door is right next to this T door, it's this smaller side door which measures about 52 inches in length, 36 inches in width, and about 53 inches from the ground to the top of the door, and I also had to duck when entering and leaving the tent. The T door comes with three green zippers so you can unzip it, roll back the two sides of the door and clip both to the sides, one clip at each side like this. The smaller side door comes with just two green zippers and two lashes by the side to tie the door fabric up to keep it open. For storage, there are two pockets inside this core 9 person instant cabin tent. The bigger pocket measures about 21 by 10 inches while the smaller pocket measures about 14 by 8 inches. There's also one loop at the top of the center of the tent where you can hang a lantern for lighting at night. This is the same loop that I hung the divider from. Also, there's one e-port in the middle of the tent with a velcro closure. When I put this core 9 person instant cabin tent through some light rain, there were no leaks inside the tent after one entire hour. I also managed to put it through one hour of heavy rain which looked like this. After the hour was up and the rain stopped, I found some leaking through the seam between the flooring and the green tent fabric. There was leaking in two places from the seam, one with less leaking and another with quite a bit of leaking through the corner. Also I found that the window latch here was soaked through and the water dripped into the tent from this latch. This is because this window latch is connected to the outside, so to stop the leaking you probably gotta seal the seam from the outside too. Oh and this core 9 person tent also comes with a pre-attached foot mat which will get super soaked in heavy rain because there's no vestibule or shading outside the tent. On a hot day without the rainfly, this core 9 person instant cabin tent has quite a bit of ventilation. There are 7 windows and some of them are pretty huge. On top of that, the rainfly is removable from the outside and you get a lot of mesh on the roof of the tent. This is great for tons of hot day ventilation. On a rainy day though, you have to put the rainfly back on to cover up and protect the ceiling mesh from any leaks. Also, because the rainfly is quite tiny, it doesn't offer that much rain protection. So during the heavy rain, all of my windows and doors were pretty soaked from top to bottom, and you'd definitely have to shut them. Even in light rain, a lot of the rainfall will get onto the mesh of all the windows and doors. This reduces rainy day ventilation by quite a bit. However, I highly recommend staking these two vents out from the outside so that you'll get some ventilation on rainy days. These two vents are quite big, each measuring about 74 inches in length and 18 inches in width from the inside. They can also be opened and shut from the inside of the tent, which is super cool. To do so, just press down on this black latch here at the bottom of each vent and push the fabric along this cord. This makes the vents shut. Even when open, no water got into my tent through these vents. The flooring of this core 9 person instant cabin tent is made of polyethylene while the rest of the tent is made of 68D polyester. It has a hydrostatic head rating of 600mm and after one hour of heavy rain I found that the top grey fabric was still dry though the yellow fabric at the bottom was slightly damp after an hour of heavy rain because it was exposed to a lot more rainfall. Most of the important seams inside the tent have been seam taped, like this middle seam between the grey and green fabric. However, this green fabric to flooring seam isn't taped and is inverted instead, which is why there was leaking. The seams are generally good quality, double stitched and consistent, and I found only a couple of loose threads. The mesh is just regular mesh, not no seam mesh, and it's decent quality. The zippers are also decent quality, and all the window zippers are catch free. The door zippers are decent quality too, and I had no snagging issues on the T-door. 
I did find that the zippers of the side door sometimes catches on the rain cover, but other than that, they are pretty snag free too. Also, the huge T door has a small little rain collar thing which trapped the water that seeped in through the door zip so that the water doesn't actually drip into the tent instead. This core 9 person instant cabin tent has a packed size of 46 by 13 by 12 inches. And here's what it looks like beside a Coleman two-person sundome tent and a 32-ounce Nalgene bottle for a size comparison. It weighs about 30 pounds for everything. For pros, the biggest one is easily the super quick setup. Since the poles, the pole sleeves, and all the guiding lines are all pretty attached, I didn't have to fuss over any pole sleeves, and it took me just 12 minutes on my own for such a big tent. Also, the pack-up is equally simple. It's pretty easy to squeeze all the air out, the carry bag is pretty big, and getting everything back into the bag was no problem at all. On top of that, I liked that the carry bag has a little more cushioning at one of the widths to protect the tent. I also really liked that all the poles of this core 9 person instant tent are made of steel, which is more durable than fiberglass. Another fantastic pro is this huge T-door, which is really quite big compared to my size and makes getting in and out of the tent super easy. There's also plenty of livable space inside the tent due to the cabin shape, and hot day ventilation is also fantastic with great airflow. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. As for cons, I think the biggest one is that there's no bathtub flooring, the green fabric extends all the way to the ground, and I had to keep my tent away from the light flooding in my yard. Also, Core didn't seal this flooring seam. Instead, they made it inverted, which lets in a little bit of leaking in two places during one hour of heavy rain. But I guess it's a pretty easy fix, so it's not that big a con. The rest of the cons are pretty minor, like this see-through divider, which I don't see the point in using. Also, the base area is a bit of a weird configuration that doesn't fit more than two queens. So if you expect to fit six people inside this tent on three queen beds, you'd have to buy a 10-person core tent instead of this 9-person tent. And here's what my 10-person core tent looked like with four queen beds. There's also not enough storage with only two pockets and one lantern loop. And lastly, the pack size is humongous. Surprisingly, this core 9-person tent has a bigger pack size than my outdoor products 10-person instant tent, and is also more than twice as big as my regular 8-person and 10-person tents. It's one of my bulkiest tents to store. But this makes the pack up super easy, so it's a trade-off, I guess. Overall, I feel the cons are fairly minor and some are easily fixable, like the leaking seam. I think the pros clearly outweigh the cons here because there's a lot of pros, like it's super easy to set up and pack up, the quality is decent, and it's feature rich making it super comfy to camp in. Overall, I can definitely recommend this tent for warmer weather. But wait, before you buy this, would you like to know how this core 9 person instant cabin tent compares to other similar tents, like other instant tents? If so, you can click on this link on this video right here, I'll put it up when it's ready, so do check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see ya in the next one.